1920s, located at the junction of the Mississippi and Missouri Rivers. The city is one of the nation's largest. It's both a busy river port and a major trade hub. The recent enactment of national prohibition promises to bring great change. For better, or for worse. The city's once prosperous breweries struggle to remain in business. Both do not survive. But an emerging underground industry begins filling the gaps. Or the gap, as it were. Meanwhile, Rishonator at the May owns and operates a modest niche within the city, the Little Daisy Cafe. But his unamusing establishment happens to also be a portal into the extensive maze of limestone caves below St. Louis. And by all accounts, Atlas is an opportunist. Soon, though St. Louis is dry on the surface, there was a wellspring underground. A club-shaped pin worn under the collar or inside the lapel grants trusted patrons access to the subterranean place, the lackadaisy speakeasy. The location of St. Louis in the middle of the country means illegal liquor flows in by numerous routes. Never at a loss with the fly, lackadaisy prospers, and becomes the city's most prominent bootleg operation. Atlas has a small empire. But as prohibition persists, formidable rivals begin to emerge. The competition is anything but friendly. Enemies look around every corner. And in 1926, Atlas meets a violent end. Lackadaisy falls into the hands of his widow, Mitzi May. But there are rumors of her involvement in his death. Amidst shaken loyalties and mounting pressure from competitors, there is a great exilius of constituents. A near fatal blow for Lackadaisy itself. By 1927, only a small faction of Atlas's crew and a handful of steadfast patrons remain. The organization struggles to survive. And so, while the rest of the city and much of the world celebrate the spirit of St. Louis, certain other individuals are preoccupied with the spirits in St. Louis. Captain Keho! <laughs> How's old Muddy mistreating you this fine day? Meh. Ducky. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Oh, uh, concerning your cargo, if I could have the where and when... Tomorrow, after midnight, entrance to English Cave. And whatever quarrel you have, settle it here. I don't want it on my hands. Huh? Oh, hell. You? Again? Oh, come on. Just how much liquor do you need to sustain that Riverside shanty you call an establishment? All of it. Didn't you swallow enough tea last time we talked about this? As a matter of fact, I did. But I bet I still have more than you- <laughs> <sighs> Overdress, mosquito. Uh, hey, that's a clever trick. Wh what are you doing? I think we're gonna go for a ride. Uh, this doesn't mean I won't be making that pickup. <sighs> we got any rope or anything in that truck? Nah. Got a toolbox, though. Uh, why the special treatment, guys? Can you just bash me over the head with something and, you know, call it a day? Well... Avril's in a bad mood today, cause one of the pigs gone mad and we had to shoot it. Ugh. I guess that makes you my travel companion. I'll call you Frothy. So Frothy, where do you suppose we're going? Well, I have to admit, this is somewhat more creative than I expected. From a bunch of witless rubes! <laughs> I hope you boys are prepared to be disappointed. Because being run down by something called the Sunshine Special is too ironic to be possible. <sighs> so, you made your point. Keho is all yours. If you don't mind, I do have other individuals to be harassed by today. Point? There ain't no point. Except you get hit by that train. Emery here has never seen anything get hit by a train before. Nope. Never. Really? Well, you've been missing out. The splatter is something to behold. It's really quite, uh... Spectacular. And, uh, since it's a special occasion, why not maximize the carnage? That is, I think you may have just enough time to add a certain pig to the mix? Well, that is an idea. Careful. He's a tricky one. No, he ain't. He's an idiot. Can't take a mad pig to the market anyhow. Might as well get rid of two cracked pots with one train. Like Ma would say.
Don't you think about moving from that spot or I'll shoot you. Then we'll watch you get hit by that train. I knew you'd come through for me, Frothy. <laughs> Damn! Durable mercerized cotton silk blend! I'll just have to, uh, how to go? Elbow down. Arms around. <sighs> That's a lot of movement for someone ain't supposed to be moving. Oh, I can't help it. I have a condition. Not for much longer. You just hold it. What? You'll have to speak louder and stop vibrating. I can't make out what you're saying. What? I said... <laughs> Ha 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 ha!